I will say that it's a problem with both men and women. Yes. I don't think in general we're being raised to be marriage minded because a lot of people aren't getting married anymore like they used to. Yes. So someone posted something on my YouTube channel and they were like, black women are raised to be mothers or single mothers, but not raised to be wives. Wives, I've seen something like that. Yeah, so it's like those qualities, yes, those are things that a man yes. can appreciate, but how do you operate in a partnership? How do you function right. as a unit? When you start thinking about those qualities, I think that's where we struggle a little bit. Yep. And it sucks, because I think we're getting, again, the short end of the stick. We were raised in environments where we have to have a tougher exterior. Yes. From a young age, you have to like grow up really quick. And so I think we just have to unlearn a lot right. of those things. And that's conflicting with us trying to be in a relationship. Man marries a woman and she gets older, will he keep her? Yes, because men are good people. Men are good people and we keep, we keep each other. We keep women. We don't treat women like y'all would treat us. See, if a woman had a man and her value increased later in life and his decreased, women would get rid of the men. But see, we're good people. <laughs> I know they're going to get mad at me on that one. Ladies, tonight we're going to talk about what level are you on? Because if you want, and a lot of women will say they don't want a high value man. Yes, you do because you want a lifestyle of comfort and moderate luxury. Meaning the average woman today wants a lifestyle of comfort and moderate luxury. Meaning you want- Here in pussy is foul. It's a billion good coochies out here. If your man gives you a blueprint and tells you, this is how I want you to love me. This is how I want you to tend to me, cater to me, nurture me, whatever, so that I could be content in this relationship. Why are you not listening? You don't go to a job and they give you the, the job description and you fucking wing it. So why are you winging it in your relationship and expecting the man to, you know, be loyal to you? I'm confused. But you want a man to love you in your love language. Women need to stop that one-sided ish. I can't stand it. If you two choose to come together and y'all verbalize things, why not respect it? Don't you think that would make the, the relationship go much easier? It's like y'all make it harder and then you wonder why this man is unhappy. He told you what he wanted. You didn't listen because you thought your pork chop was enough to keep him. It's a lot of pork chops out here. Uh, I feel like this generation now, it's all about what you look like physically. Men. It's always been like that. So uh, sexualizing. Men, now. Wait, let me, in, let me get to her real quick. Hold that thought. The second time you said that. So like. <clears throat> yeah, on the whole sexualizing thing, right? Uh, well, like I said, we could say, yeah, men sexualize women. Uh, you could have you a do. woman in a whole right. woman could walk into Walmart with baggy and sweats, think everything is a for dirty t-shirt. Like, everything and, a woman and and do and is still still gonna be like, that's gonna sexualize. Damn, she got some nice ass titties. Like, like, nigga, no. still gonna sexualize. Yeah, nigga, still like, damn. Her elbow's nice, though. Like, they can still <laughs> like, gonna look for something. They can still go look for something. So I'm not arguing that, baby girl. I'm not arguing that men don't sexualize women. But I'll say this. The less promiscuous and provocative you are dressing, the less of that attention you'll get. If you dress up in a little skirt or tight, tight skirt and you walk into Walmart, you're going to have Everybody a lot of niggas going to be staring. And you're going to have a lot of niggas approaching. If you My question is this, okay, if a female is worried about men sexualizing them, well, why dress promis Why dress promiscuous then? Why are they dressing promis promiscuous? They'll go dress that way and then go and say, well, oh, guys, all they want to do is sexualize. And then you think to yourself, like, okay, well, aren't you asking for that type of attention? Because if you dress that way, how you present yourself is the attention you're going to get. You see what I'm saying? So if you don't want men to sexualize you, stop dressing sexually. Y'all get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, a man, like as men, we are visual creatures. We see beautiful women. Obviously, we say, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's just that's just how men are. But a man, men are logical as well. If we see a woman who respects herself, guess what? We're going to give her that same respect. You see what I'm saying? That's just my Walking in with some baggy sweats and a t-shirt, niggas still gonna approach too. But the key thing is that less a men will approach. That's what I'm saying. So, right. but, and, and I say this for a reason, right? Is because I have a daughter. I want you ladies to understand. Uh, 
God is love and, and God gave us free will, right? The reason why God gave us free will is because God wants to experience love back, right? If he didn't give us free will, we would be all robots and he wouldn't be able to experience genuine love back, right? Mm. So free God giving us free will is literally love because it's like you're free to do whatever you want. But with this free will now, since you have free will, I have the ability from you humans to experience genuine love back those who seek me. Make sense? So it works the same way when it comes to everything in life. Women, if you promote yourself out there to the streets and you're dressing provocative, guess what? You want to experience genuine love too. And we all know that men are gonna sexualize you anyway. They're always gonna wanna look to hit. But the more sexualized, the more you sexualize yourself, the harder it is for you to notice and to pick out the guys who are actually genuine because you are putting yourself out there like that. But the less, if you take it back a notch, less is more, and you're not promoting yourself and sexualizing yourself like that, then you'll be able, you have a better landscape and a view to see, okay, who's truly giving me genuine attention? Because the pool will be less, it'll be less to work with. Make sense? Does that correlate? And you shake your head, no. But that I feel like that's sense. what's promoted today though. Women it, yeah. that are <laughs> shaking their asses on social know, media. Big she said, <laughs> She says she feel like that's what's promoted today. So this is why is it promoted then? It's promoting because the person who's doing it is promoting. They're promoting themselves. Nobody not saying, nobody not over here just like, hey, you have to do this. Put this out there. No, you're shaking your butt. You're putting that out there. That's your choice. Let's continue. And go for that. Doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, and that's it. Woman. Exactly. No, and that's but wait, so. can I say something? Y'all go for the weak ones, basically. No, listen, ladies, no for real. Always get it mixed no, up. I'm, I'm, Stop generalizing men, by the way. That, that's what they do. They generalize men. They say, men go for that. Don't say every man not going for that. A man in that stage of his life who just wants something they want to smash, they're going to go for that. But a man who's trying to settle down is not going for that. So they need to stop generalizing men thinking that every man is the same. Every man is not the same. Men, men put girls in two categories. It's sex category and then there's relationship categories. So yeah, the girl's twerking and the girl's so, out there sexualizing herself. They're gonna garner a lot of male attention. But the male attention that they're garnering is niggas that want to hit. That's thank what I'm you. Saying. They only want to hit. Men want to hit a roach so, like. Exactly. <laughs> it don't matter. Walking, walking, like, you know, men thank you. These you right, niggas. <laughs> They can have a good woman and they'll still go out and step out of the relationship with a girl that has no respect for herself. Because respect for her is there's that. issues well, on the side of a woman that's dealing with a man like you. Not like you have their, but again, a woman that's like that. Trust me, she has complaints too. I have friends that are like that. And then there are women perfect. who are like us. Life is not perfect. Nobody's life is yeah. perfect, so stop it. That's okay. What but perfect. what I'm saying is no matter what end of the spectrum you're coming from, if you are somebody like me who I love to dress sexy, it's yeah. for me, it's not for no men, you want to look that's on you she want to dress sick so that's why she got all that cleavage out for herself okay walk around your house with it on since you're doing it for yourself walk around your house with it on but you feel what i'm saying just walk around your house when nobody's around i guarantee you when nobody's around she don't just put on makeup just to walk around her house but when she go out she put it on so she can get attention. Like why, why they sit up here and tell these females tell lies to themselves? Oh, I, I do this for myself. I, sh I shake my butt on Instagram for myself. Why not go and record yourself and just leave it on your phone and don't put it in the public since you're doing it for yourself. Come on, bro. Females got to stop lying to themselves, man. Come on. But I wake up every day and I do this for me. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I can get a man and have issues. If I'm a modest woman from head to toe cover, guess what? She yeah, complaining still, about stuff too. It really don't so matter. Right. You got to just show up in the world how you want to be. Mm -hmm. And the man that's for you will come for you. And don't be toxic. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're in a healthy place in your life. Okay. And that's it. Because so none of this other logic. stuff is going <laughs> to... I'm wondering, is she, is she in a relationship? Because she's talking like she know a lot. I'm wondering, is she, does she, she's saying how to get a man. But does she have a man? That's what I want to know. Can I say something? I actually agree on some of what you said oh. about not promoting all of those. Let me respond to this, what you said. Because okay. this, your logic, you had a whole statement there. Your statement was... Be who you are, girl. You know, get the bag, dress sexy, be what I you want to be. <laughs> okay, yeah. that, that's pretty much what you said. Just be who you are. Be, period. Okay, be who you are. 
Let, and, and be healthy. And Don't be, forget that because okay. that's important. When you're being cool. who you are, it got to come from that Let's place. Let's use your same logic. I'm right. going to use your same logic and we're going to put it to the males and we're okay. going to see how it doesn't work. Right. Okay. And then we're going to re- reinvert it to back to you I'm and I'm going to let you know how this doesn't work. So be who you are. <laughs> right. I'm fat, eating Cheetos at home, playing video games, and I'm a guy. But I deserve a bad chick. I sound stupid, right? No, you deserve I sound a chick stupid. who loves you for no, you. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I sound stupid saying that I'm sitting at home eating Cheetos and playing video games, but I deserve a bad chick. That's what I'm saying. I would sound stupid for saying that I deserve a bad chick when I'm not doing anything or having any traits that women actually desire. You get what I'm saying? So it's illogical. It's irrational. There's a whole you get population what I'm that so likes what I'm telling you, eat Cheetos and play video I'm, games. Like, no, what are you talking okay, about? Now where's that population? I want to know where the population is. I want to know where's that population that want of women that want men that don't do nothing but eat Cheetos and play video games. Show me where the population of, of women at. I, I want to see it. I, I, I want to see that population of women. Do a poll. We can see. So we can find that population of women. You sound like Mo over here. That's the exception to the rule. And no, I've not. never heard. Okay, let's just show hands. Any of you women gonna date a nigga that's at home playing video games, lives with he doing in a my basement, and you're gonna take him seriously in a relationship? Look at that bird. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's only how many of us? <laughs> but, 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 so his probability. <laughs> let's just say it's a girl out in uh, Ohio that would take him to this one it girl. Place. No, no, I'm not. Nobody wants a bomb. Listen, nobody wants that. Let me period. Let me lay my plan. I got you. What I'm telling you, exactly. No one wants a bump. Yeah, so, it's only when it's good for him, exceptions apply. Okay, only when Kuzi's no making exception. a point. No, I never go said ahead, no exceptions at all. I'm literally speaking about the rule. Okay. So what I'm telling you is that your statement of what you said, yeah, be yo, be who you are. Be yourself and go. If men, if we use that same logic, we won't get what we want. So I'm telling you that with that state of mind, you won't get what you want because all us human beings, we have to understand the opposite sex in order to get their attention from the opposite sex. So we got to understand them. What do men like? What do women like? When you right. figure out what they like, then you acquiesce your behaviors mm-hmm. and you start thinking differently. You start behaving differently and you start attracting the people that you actually want. So that's what I'm saying. But you saying just be yourself and all this other stuff that doesn't is not going to get you Because I don't anywhere. feel like you have to... Like, okay, I feel like, like I said, with the soft girl era, what did I say? I think you do that for you. You show up in the world that way for you. Now, yes, ultimately, we don't want to die alone. We all want to have a partner. I get that. But at the end of the day, you're not doing that specifically, like, only to get a man. Mm -hmm. Like, to satisfy his every need. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's Mm -hmm. not that. And there's going to be somebody for everybody. Everybody is different. Absolutely. And like I said, it don't matter. If you are modest women... You can attract a, a man like him. Okay, cool. But there's men like you that got a modest woman and still cheating and yeah. still doing and this and still doing that. So it doesn't matter. Go back to what you said. I could be. Said. I could. I could show up in a world like this, right? And have a good man go home, treat that man like a king. Like when I was in a relationship, he got treated very well. I cooked, I cleaned, took care of the kids. We were still good, and I still everything. and he still cheated. Okay, so, look, so you get what I'm saying? Not at his lunch. I made his. I mean, let's take what you said. He had lunchables every day, and he still cheated. Let's keep that logic. Come on, we know how she get down in the kitchen. You know what? I'm just saying. Ladies, ladies, please. One mic at a time, because I need to reply to that. So you said what you said. Cool. Great. And yeah, facts. Niggas still gonna cheat. But what did I just say? You need to understand the opposite sex. Guess what? Niggas is only as faithful as their options. That's a fact. So if you talk into a nigga, oh, it is okay, a fact. You, yeah. If you speak into, uh, so then you have to know that, right? So you wanna cry in a Lamborghini or you wanna cry in a Toyota Corolla? I'm so crying both. What I'm saying is that <laughs> the problem is. Either way, I'm crying. I don't wanna cry. One, you're gonna garnt. So, this is what I'm saying, right? If cheating (laughs) is the end all be all. So mm-hmm. women and you it hurts your emotions it's not a, i'm not promoting cheating i'm just going for what you said i'm not for cheating every every guy don't cheat though but, but like like she said some some guys you know they had a girl to do everything the dream life and then they still go and cheat that's them and that's their character but every guy's not gonna cheat like you know what i'm saying so like i say you can't generalize everybody she just got with a guy who cheated on her but every guy ain't that way you know what i'm saying right so cheating is the end all be all 
you are prior prioritizing the wrong thing in that mail because since males are only as faithful as their options why would you prioritize his fidelity that's a silly thing to prioritize because you'll never be able to keep a man because you're prioritizing the wrong thing what you should be prioritizing is the other characteristic traits in him his leadership his masculinity is he protecting and providing for you and willing to take a bullet for you those are the things you pr uh, prioritize because then you'll be able to choose a more masculine dominant male that you truly would love admire and respect because guess what the rich nigga would cheat on you and a broke nigga would cheat on you but guess what the but guess what the broke That's nigga don't have the, person. the broke nigga yeah. don't got the money the security the any uh, anything like that so it's so okay as long as he can take care of you and lead is what you're i'm not saying, saying it's, it's okay i yeah. said it again cheating is not okay what i'm telling you is that you just prioritizing the wrong thing it's like a male if but, i'm prioritizing her to be paying the bills uh, but she's not paying the bills. She don't even want to pay the bills anyway. But I'm prioritizing. Do you want it? respect I'm in a relationship? The yes or no? Do you want respect it's, in a relationship? You want obsession? Too. Do you want respect no. in a relationship? Wait, so oh, men, men. In your relationship, no, do you want respect? Thing. Okay, men. So do, men do, does men want it's respect? All respect. Okay, does all men want respect, respect from their woman? It's, men prefer. I truly believe. Men prefer respect over love. Don't get me wrong. I'm not for cheating. I don't advocate for cheating, bro. That's just not me. Because I'm just a lawyer person. And I, I just feel like if I if I cheat, I can't get mad if she cheat. And that's just me. That's my logic behind the cheating this way. I just don't believe in cheat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's just me. Because oh, respect okay. is everything. So at the Even end of the day, a woman has to res uh, love you. She has to respect you first. So with so cheating, yes. you don't think that that's disrespecting the relationship and disrespecting mm -hmm. me? The man cheating? Yeah. Anybody cheating? Cheating is How about cheating. The woman is cheating, cheating. Period. Cheating. But I'm just saying overall, you don't think Wait. that's disrespecting me what if she and the relationship? On you? Yeah, I think How cheating versus men and women is the same. Oh, my oh we already. Went Let's to not get into this. No, 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 I would take what I see on social media completely out of the mm -hmm. picture if I were you. Those people's relationships do not last. Were you talking to me? Um, no. The, 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 I don't think it's um, just for me and my advice would be not to make it a standard at all. Because those things are not realistic. They're yeah, not. Right. Social media is fake. Not, That's fair. They don't stay. Right. It's about the I don't look at social media and say that this is what I want my relationship to be. It's just what I'm seeing these mm -hmm. days, not only on social media, but in general. Faithful faithfulness has gone out the door. Right. It's like nobody cares about it anymore. And that's important to me. Martin Luther did. King wasn't faithful. Uh, but I mean, uh, David, I mean, David wasn't faithful. But, uh, yeah, but just because these guys weren't faithful don't mean that you... You feel me? You gotta follow their standard, bro. If you loyal, you're a loyal person. If I cheat on, I feel like if I cheat on a person that I lay in bed with every night, you know what I'm saying? That be with me 24 seven. How could you trust me? How could my friend trust me as a homeboy? So I gotta be loyal across the board. I'm loyal to all my friends. I'm loyal to everybody. I'm loyal to God first. You feel me? But that's just me. But hey, join the family. Let's get it.